Greetings, friends. I'm your fellow film fan, Jimmy Overton. I also have the honor of being the ambassador host for Monday at the Movies, a series of classic uh, films presented weekly at the historic Wayne Theater, Ross Performing Arts Center, right here in Waynesboro, Virginia. Uh, customarily, I would give a brief introduction for each film from Monday to Monday before we put it up on the big screen at the Wayne Theater. Uh, since the quarantine has been in place over the last few months, we've been uh, inviting you to join us online. Hashtag at home with the Wayne. Hashtag at home with the Wayne, where we're presenting uh, my customary Monday film production there uh, digitally online and also some other very uh, entertaining and interesting posts from some talented associates of the Historic Wayne Theater that I'm sure you'll enjoy. That can be accessed by the Historic Wayne Theater's Facebook page or website. Hashtag at home with the Wayne. Please join us. Uh, as you know, the theater is currently closed because of government restrictions on a social gathering. So many of our Monday movie fans and patrons have been following the preempted weekly films from the safety of their homes. All of the films that we would have uh, been screening are available in one format or another from Amazon Prime, Netflix, Vudu. So we invite you to stay current with us. I have a little information to share with you before we get into the introduction for the film for Monday, July the 6th. Uh, this past Monday, with The Sound of Music on June 29th, uh, brought to a conclusion the first six months of scheduled films for 2020. As many of you know, uh, the second uh, half of the year, from July through the end of December, since we first began doing Monday at the Movies in 2016, uh, I've designated the Audience Choice Season, meaning that all the films presented uh, week by week have been uh, selected from a file, that I, a very comprehensive and fascinating file of movie titles that you, the fans of uh, the Wayne Theater and Monday at the Movies, have requested and suggested. And when we see that some of those uh, films have been requested uh, multiple times by different uh, film fans, then it's an indication that they should go on to the schedule. So we're forging ahead, and some more very inf uh, exciting information to share with you in just a moment. But uh, the new uh, fifth uh, audience choice season has been hastily uh, compiled uh, from my file of your request and selections. And it's once again, it's a great list of movies. Uh, beginning on July the 6th, uh, we have Twister and from 1996. I'm just read down the list for you very quickly, if I may. In July, we begin with Twister, Little Women from 1933. This is the original version with Catherine Hepburn. A Summer Place, The Private Life of Henry VIII. Little Shop of Horrors, of course, this was a musical that was to be presented uh, on the stage at the Historic Wayne Theater that, unfortunately, we'll have to wait to another time to see it on stage. We've got the film for you. Uh, in August, uh, continue with the importance of being earnest. Same story. It was all set to go with a stage production. So we're going to put the film up uh, in the meantime. The Empire of the Sun. King Creole, in honor of Elvis's birth, uh, passing, rather, on uh, Goldfinger, and just in time for what will hopefully be football season, North Dallas 40, one of the greatest, most entertaining sports films ever made. Don't miss that one. Which brings us to Labor Day. The theater will be closed on Labor Day, and continuing the following Monday with Arsenic and Old Lace, Kramer vs. Kramer, The Remains of the Day. In October, we go to the Dawn Patrol, 310 to Yuma, The Man Who Knew Too Much from the great Alfred Hitchcock, and our pre-Halloween uh, feature, The Wolfman from 1941 with Lon Chaney. Very, very entertaining film. November brings West Side Story, Murder on the Orient Express, The Thin Man, Life is Beautiful, don't miss that one. Back to the Future. Now we're into December of 2020, The Lion in Winter, The Bishop's Wife, our first holiday feature of December, and then the uh, annual Christmas Carol sing-along hosted by yours truly, uh, where we'll have the Santa Claus. Very, very fine list of movies there for you, my friends. Now, uh, we will continue to present 
the online introduction for all these films. And if you choose to do so, uh, remain in the safety of your home and follow the films. That, that film schedule will be posted on my Facebook page, Jimmy Overton, also on the, the Classic Cinema Club's Facebook page that I manage, and also on the Wayne Theater uh, website and Facebook page as well, within the next few days. Some of those titles are pending confirmation from our distributor, so as usual, uh, the films are subject to change. But that looks like the schedule as it stands right now. Very exciting news here in Virginia. The governor has uh, issued that we're moving into phase three of the planned reopening of Virginia uh, in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. So it looks as though, fingers crossed, that the historic Wayne Theater may be able to, in a limited capacity, reopen its doors at some point in the near future. This is a great challenge. Uh, they're up for the task, however, and we'll have to do things a little bit differently down at the theater. All of the restrictions on occupancy, distance, contact, all of the uh, requirements for uh, sanitation, everything will be followed very, very closely. But uh, this has been a very challenging time for not only the historic Wayne Theater, but all theaters. Uh, performing arts centers across America. So uh, we look forward to that. It's been a joyous day, uh, a, a long time coming. Many have been asking about what the possibility of the theater reopening at some point. It looks like that we're on the threshold of that, at least in some respect. But once again, we will be offering more, and we'll give you updates uh, here along those lines as well as more information becomes confirmed. But once again, for those of you who prefer to stay home, we will continue to introduce the films in this manner. Okay, for July the uh, 6th, Monday, July the 6th, our first film uh, to kick off the fifth annual Audience Choice season from Monday at the Movies is a film from 1996, Twister. Now, friends, uh, I grew up in Oklahoma, Tornado Alley, and this was years before the Weather Channel. Uh, we now see the scroll that goes across the bottom of our TV screens with a tornado watch or a tornado warning and digital radar coverage and all this kind of stuff for uh, warning us of an approaching tornado. I've had no such benefit. And uh, as a child growing up in the early 60s in Oklahoma, there was a constant uh, certain time of the year, right about now, looking over your shoulder to see if that funnel cloud was coming down the horizon. And uh, I've seen them 40 stories tall. Uh, they make an impression, a terrifying impression. Uh, the way that the, the general drill uh, from my childhood would be um, that the fire station downtown had a watchtower, a storm watchtower. And when a, a twister was seen making contact with the ground, the siren would blow. And everyone had a sense of the barometric pressure and the weather conditions that were conducive to the formation of a, of a twister. So when you heard that, that siren blast, you grabbed a few things, essential items from the house, and you ran out the back door and opened up that door to the storm cellar bunker, shooing everyone inside, closing it behind you, locking it up, waiting to hear the siren blast again. Sometimes a few minutes later, sometimes hours later. Then you very cautiously peek, open the door and peek to see if your house and your neighborhood were still there. Twister's uh, freakishly unpredictable things. I've seen them tear the roof off a house and not misplace any of the furniture. Or every house on the block is fine except for one poor place that for no rhyme or reason is leveled to the ground. Very, very unusual meteorological phenomenon. This is a great movie, too. Uh, very exciting. If you're a fan of special effects, this uh, film was Oscar-nominated for its special effects. Uh, very convincingly uh, recreating the experience of being very, very close to a monstrous tornado. In fact, one of the props that was used to create the windstorm of a, a twister was a jet engine from a Boeing 707. Several of the cast were injured 
by degree flying around from the jet engine. So it gives you some idea of the power of these big supercell storms that roll across the, the, the wide open plains. There's nothing to stop them from gaining strength as they go. Uh, the the uh, Tom Hanks, Kevin Costner, Richard Gere, John Travolta, Mel Gibson, Kurt Russell, Michael Keaton, Dennis Quaid were all considered for the role of Bill Harding, the head meteorologist in the storm chasing team. Tom Hanks, in fact, read lines with the cast and even chose his character's wardrobe, which stayed in the final film before having to drop out because of other commitments. The late Bill Paxton was then chosen due to what was seen as kind of a a southern everyman charm that he definitely has. He's a very, very appealing screen persona. Uh, he came on the recommendation of director James Cameron to play the part, and he's perfect. Laura Dern was considered for the role of his estranged wife and fellow storm chaser, Dr. Joe Harding. And Laura's a great actress. I'm a big, big fan. Uh, however, the role went to Helen Hunt. I'm an even bigger fan of Helen Hunt. She's perfect. She's charming, she's beautiful, uh, she's witty, she's a great, great actress, and this is one of her best films. Garth Brooks, country singing superstar, turned down the role of Dustin Davis, one of the storm chasing team, which event eventually we see went to the late Philip Seymour Hoffman. As uh, mentioned, it was nominated for Best Special Effects and Best Sound. Extraordinary motion picture, big, big hit movie grossing over $100 million when it hit theaters across the country. Friends, we're excited about this pending news for the re possible reopening of the Historic Wayne Theater. We'll keep you posted on all that. Please uh, kick off uh, the first, the fifth audience choice season for Monday at the Movies with us this Monday, July the 6th, by watching a very exciting and very entertaining motion picture, Twister, with Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt from 1996. And this is your fellow film fan and host of uh, uh, Monday at the Movies, Jimmy Overton, saying until we meet again, and it won't be too long now, make it a double feature.